Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, we are back with another weapon comparison today. And more specifically, we're going to be comparing the Covenant Carbine. Or just the Carbine. <laughs> uh, so, the Carbine was first introduced in Halo 2. The classic version of Halo 2, of course. And it was, uh, it was pretty much supposed to be the Covenant version of the... Our equivalent of the Battle Rifle, essentially. Um, but... It's uh, it was one of the uh, top requests actually, so I decided to tackle for this video, and oh, well, here we are comparing the Covenant Carbine. Now, just to reiterate, as always, because I have to mention this every time, I can't compare Halo 5 to uh, or Halo 2 Anniversary, like the multiplayer version, to, um, to this because there's no mod tools that exist yet that lets me um, take a look at the stats. And without the stats for these weapons and the game files, I can't make an objective comparison. I don't want to do like a observation based comparison. Like it looks like this battle, like this weapon is faster or stronger. I want to do like an actual fact based comparison of the stats. So that's why we have to leave out Halo 5 and Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer. So we'll only be comparing Halo 2, 3, ODST, and 4 for today. Now then, let's get right into Halo 2. So, like I said, this was where the carbine first uh, showed up. and. Its stats are that it has a max range of 40 meters, velocity of 400 meters per second for each slug that it fires, uh, each slug does 11 points of damage, and it takes 0 0.35 seconds between shots to uh, fire. So that's, well, that's basically our baseline for our comparison since Halo 2 came first. Uh, now time, be time between shots, that, you know, that's the time you know, before you can fire again, so you can't spam it like crazy. Uh, but, uh, anyways, after Halo 2, the Carbine, of course, does make a return, and for the most part, it looks pretty much the same. Um, but that's not, you know, surprising, because a lot of Halo 3 stuff looks very similar to Halo 2 stuff, uh, and a lot of times they even have very similar stats to each other. But the uh, Carbine in Halo 3 does have quite a few changes besides uh, visual updates, uh, and most of those are in the stats as well. So let's take a look at the stats now. Its max range has increased to 60 meters compared to 40 in Halo 2. However, its velocity has been nerfed a lot, uh, down to 180 instead of 400 in Halo 2. What that means is that Halo 3's carbine is essentially less accurate, especially at longer ranges with the slower velocity. Uh, however, its damage is also <laughs> lowered to 10 points of damage instead of 11 in Halo 2. But the time between time between shots is now 0.17 seconds, so it has a slightly higher fire rate if you keep spamming the trigger, essentially. So yeah, Halo 3's carbine is kind of a little weaker, but it's not too bad. Now, next thing we'll be comparing is Halo 3 ODST. Usually we don't compare ODST because its weapons or even characters are like completely identical to Halo 3's, but this time around, ODST's carbine actually has some small differences with Halo 3's carbine. Uh, visually, it's the same because it's you know basically just Halo 3, <laughs> but its stats. Well, its max range and velocity are both the exact same: 60 meters for max range and 180 meters per second for the velocity, meaning it has the same accuracy as the Halo 3 carbine. However, it has a damage of 12.5 points of damage, meaning it's so far the most powerful carbine actually as far as damage goes. Its time between shots is still the same, 0.17 seconds, so still faster than Halo 2's. Basically, ODSC's carbine is the Halo 3 carbine, but more powerful. A little more powerful. It's not like a power weapon or anything. But yeah, so Halo Reach did not have a carbine, it had the needle rifle instead, which basically replaces the carbine. Uh, so the next game to have the carbine to bring it back is Halo 4, and the last game we'll be comparing as well. So Halo 4's carbine features a lot of visual changes but it's overall functionally still the same. It's mostly visual differences, but stats also have changed a lot too. And not surprisingly, actually. So like many Halo 4 weapons, especially the, pre especially the uh, precision ones, the carbine has a really crazy max range of 250 meters. Uh, and it's each shot has a velocity of 3,000 meters per second, a whopping huge increase compared to Halo 3 and even Halo 2. But its damage is back down to 10, same as Halo 3's, and the time between shots is the same. So basically, Halo 4's carbine is a very accurate Halo 3 carbine. 
So, with that in mind, which Halo game has the best carbine? Well, that is a tough one, and it actually pretty much came right down to between Halo 3 ODST's carbine and Halo 4's carbine. Both of them share similarities to Halo 3's carbine. Halo 3 ODST's carbine, like I said, is essentially Halo 3's carbine, but more powerful, while Halo 4's carbine is just Halo 3's carbine, but more accurate. So, that's kind of like a matter of opinion at this point, which is better. You could, you could argue that ODST's carbine is better because it does more damage than Halo 4's, but you could also argue that Halo 4's carbine is better because it's more accurate, especially at longer ranges. Well, at this point, it's actually subjective. Whichever, it depends on your playstyle. If you're more of a close quarters or medium range kind of person, then ODST's would be better. But if you play like more medium to long range, uh, then Halo 4's would be better because it's more accurate. So, it's really hard for me to declare which one is definitively better, or objectively better, because both have like significant advantages over the other. But for the sake of this comparison, traditionally we usually give it to the most the one that does the most damage, because that that's where like time to kill kind of comes in. The fire rate's the same, but ODSC's carbine does more damage, meaning it has a faster time to kill. So therefore, I would have to declare ODST's Carbine as the best in the series. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting, uh, make sure to leave a like as always. Uh, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments, let me know what you'd like me to compare next, be it weapons or AI. Uh, don't worry, uh, I know some of you have done repeat requests many times, I've, I've definitely seen those and we'll get to those soon. Um, so definitely do stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys!